हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 145 ए जॉब पोस्टिंग ऑन अमेजॉन्स पोर्टल सजेस्ट दैट द रिटेल जायंट इज वर्किंग ऑन एक्सेप्टिंग क्रिप्टो करेंसी पेमेंट्स ऑन इट्स प्लेटफॉर्म अमेजॉन कुड आल्सो बी वर्किंग ऑन इट्स इन हाउस क्रिप्टो करेंसी करेंटली ऑन अ हैंडफुल ऑफ कंपनीज एक्सेप्ट क्रिप्टो करेंसी पेमेंट्स Disney Plus Hotstar has unveiled three new subscription plans in India. The new plans are rupees 499 for mobile users only and rupees 899 for the Disney Plus Hotstar Super and rupees 1499 for the Disney Plus Hotstar Premium. The new Disney Plus Hotstar plans are effective from September 1st. In the half moon of the year the tablet app processor market grew by 33% reaching around 761 million US dollars and Apple dominated this segment with a large 59% revenue share within the market as per the reports that Apple Intel Qualcomm MediaTek and Samsung LSI held the highest five spots for the tablet application processor market in terms of revenue share in quarter 1 2021 the giant leads this segment with a dominating 59% revenue share on the op- on the opposite and Intel only had a 14 percentage revenue share while Qualcomm announced it for just 10 percentage Nothing Ear One True Wireless Earbuds officially launched with a transparent design. The earbuds come with a Bluetooth 5.2 connectivity, active noise cancellation, QI wireless charging and a 11.6 mm dynamic driver. Nothing Ear One price for around $99 in US and €99 Euros in Europe and in India it is around Rs. 5999 Indian rupees. MIUI 12 may be released globally in May last year but an MIUI 13 announcement is now imminent because of the bunch of leaks. Xiaomi executive confirmed the sign of ongoing MIUI 13 development by hinting a major remake of MIUI is getting ready to arrive in August. Some of the features of the MIUI 13 has been leaked online. The features includes a gesture turbo 2.0, brand new small window, new control center and a conversational active intelligence. It comes with a natural touch 2.0. Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturer MediaTek has announced a replacement chipset for tablets and ARM powered laptops dubbed Companio 1300T. This takes over the Companio 1200 which is a model number MT8195 which has been unveiled in November last year. The new chipset features a flagship architecture reasonably a bit like the Dimensity 1200 smartphone chip. Google is gearing up for the launch of the general public release of Android 12 within the arriving months. The new information has just surfaced regarding the following iteration of the package. The corporate need to select the desired name of Android 13T. Google Chrome is set to be working on a screenshot tool with Google Lens integration. The desktop version of Chrome will get an expanded share menu with copy link to test and screenshot options. The screenshot feature is also likely to have a Google Lens integration. Now Chrome is functioning on making it easier for desktop users to capture, edit and take screenshots. The screenshot features will allow users to edit the screenshot from within Chrome. It is also set to on Google Lens integration. Until now Chrome users could take a screenshot by pressing on the print screen button on the PC. your laptop and we are required to edit on a separate app right now The Nokia S20 is a latest smartphone from HMD Global but this new device is different from other models from the Finnish company The X20 is a rugged Android smartphone for the first in the brand Chinese smartphone brand IQ is predicted to launch the IQ 8 series as soon as early August. Previous that these handsets are showcased at the upcoming conference in China. It has come directly to the company's official Weibo account. An official Twitter account of IQ has posted that it will be coming up with a series of smartphone. As per the image, the upcoming handset are going to be represented as China Joy Conference, which is scheduled to require place from July 30 to August 2 in Shanghai. Motorola is having an event on August 5 where we can expect to see three smartphones H20 Lite H20 and H20 Pro. Earlier today we saw a one render of the Pro version but now official images of the trio have leaked leaving virtually nothing to be an imagination. All these phones will have a triple camera but each one employs a different design absolutely different sensors and lenses. Samsung is probably going to announce the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G and Galaxy Z Fold 3 with foldable displays on August 11. As per the rumors, they shared a high resolution press renders of the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G to reveal its appearance from all the angles. 
Oppo has launched the latest smartwatch in China. The Oppo Watch 2 comes as a successor to the initial watch, which was launched last year in India. It comes with a bunch of latest upgrades over the ongoing model. Currently, the smartwatch is out only there for in China, but there is no information on international availability at present. This wearable powers an upgraded version of Snapdragon 4100 processor. It also comes with a custom chip and lots of recent features. Let's take a look at the price of Oppo Watch 2 specifications, feature, and other details. The price. Price of the Oppo Watch 2 46 mm is priced around 1,999 euros. And if we talk about the Oppo Watch 2 42 mm, the price is around 1,499 Chinese yuan. And if we talk about the Oppo Watch 2 42 mm, that is pricing us around 1,299 Chinese yuan. ZTE launched the Axon 30 5G phone in China today. The device is that the primary to feature its second generation under display camera technology. And if you are wondering whether it will be releasing outside the China or not, then the answer is yes for you. The Chinese manufacturer has announced that the Snapdragon 870 powered smartphone will be launching in September. The announcement was made on Twitter via the ZTE device account. The Axon 30 5G comes with a 6.92 inch Full HD AMOLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate. It is available in four variants that is 6GB RAM 128GB storage, 8GB RAM 128GB storage and an 8GB RAM 256GB storage and 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. There are three triple rear camera consisting of a 64 megapixel of main camera and an 8 megapixel of ultra wide angle camera and also 3 centimeter of macro photos. The front facing camera will be around 16 megapixel and there is a 4200mAh battery and it will support up to 55 watt fast charging. The brand new Axon 30 5G was not only the new product launched on the ZTE today. It was announced by the ZTE Buds and the Live Buds Pro True Wireless Earphones. The standard Buds come with an AirPods like design with a oval, semi, near tips and a rectangular case. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DJ Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.